This is a torque wrench. And if you don't know what this is, or you don't know why this is an important tool in any mechanics arsenal, this video is for you. Bolts are everywhere. Okay, they're a staple of modern mechanical technology. And a torque wrench is gonna allow you to tighten these bolts to a specific tightness. But why does that matter? Can't you tell how tight you're tightening something with just a standard ratchet like this? And the answer is yes and no. I don't want this video to get too complicated, but we have to get into physics just a little bit here. What does it actually mean to tighten a bolt? Well, if I told you that when you tighten a bolt, what you're actually doing is stretching it, would you believe me? A bolt is made of three main parts. So we've got the head, which is obviously for tightening. Then we've got the threads, which are what actually holds into the material it's going into. Then we've got this shank. So even on a bolt that's all threaded, there's still gonna be a part that's gonna act as the shank. And the shank's only job is to stretch. Albeit, it only stretches slightly, but that is going to be what gives you the tightness of the bolt. If you want to get into more of the material science side of this, look up some videos on Young's modulus. It'll teach you a lot. So what is your relationship as a wrencher to the stretching of a bolt? That can be understood using the relationship force equals torque times distance. So the torque is not only dependent on this force that you apply, but also the distance from where it rotates. So if I'm pushing here, I'm gonna to need to put a lot more force to get the same torque as if I'm pushing out here. And that matters because not all ratchets or wrenches are the same length. So in order to actually know how much torque you're delivering to the bolt, you have to know for each different length ratchet. But why does all that matter? So when an engineer is designing a machine, they have to figure out all the materials they're gonna use for that machine. So in the case of this dirt bike, we probably have a magnesium cover and we probably have an aluminum case. And then we've got these bolts that need to stretch to a specific tightness to hold all these parts together. But that means we have at least three different materials here and we have to figure out exactly how much these bolts have to be tightened in order to secure everything properly without damaging anything. But what about the bolts? The bolts are probably gonna be stainless steel. And if we think about the strength of stainless steel, against the aluminum and magnesium that it's threading into, it starts to become obvious that the stainless steel can withstand way more force in tension or compression than the aluminum or magnesium could. That means if we just randomly tighten these bolts, we're going to either damage the material that we're threading into, or we could not tighten it enough and the part could fall off. Luckily for us, engineers have already figured out the correct stretch or tightness for all these bolts, and they've actually calculated that all out. What I have here is a shop manual for a car that I used to have. And in every section, it outlines the torques to put stuff back on. So pretty much anything you could take off or put on that car, you're gonna know exactly how tight it needs to go. And you can find these for pretty much anything. So you, I have one of these for my street bike. I have one of these for my dirt bike. I have one of these for my truck. If you can't find a printed version of them, you don't need one. You can usually find them all online. So that's where this comes in. It's gonna let you set the torque that you want by twisting this, and then as you're tightening, it's going to click, which you're gonna be able to feel and hear, and it's gonna let you know that you're at the torque that you want. These wrenches are commonly found in quarter inch, three eighths inch, and half inch. Each one has a slightly different range of torques that you can set it to. Most likely you're not putting a wheel on with the small one, and you're also not doing really small stuff with the big one. This is a game changer. My wheels are untight enough, are yours? So maybe you're not in a position to buy a super expensive torque wrench right now, but while I was doing research for this video, I came across this guy's video where he goes over the specific accuracy of a $20 Harbor Freight torque wrench. And they actually did pretty well. Anyway guys, go get yourself a torque wrench and be confident that you're tightening everything exactly how it was designed to be. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know because I like making them and I will keep making them. Otherwise, have a good one.